New bounties, new crewmates, new questions, same odor. One Piece chapter 1053, the last chapter of One Piece for the next month has dropped. And just like in typical Oda fashion, he has given us so much to talk about for this next month. But in that, one of the main things and probably the most diverse and controversial things that he did give us is some new bounties. Now, he didn't give us everyone's new bounties, but he gave us the bounties of the three supernova captains, Luffy, Law, and Kid. And after looking over these bounties, even though some people might not agree with it, looking in-universe, they make sense. The government, since finding out Luffy has the Nika Devil Fruit and since finding out he awakened it, has been wanting to keep his info under wraps. They are giving him the Gold Roger treatment. As we know, Gold Roger's name is Gold D. Roger, but once he became the Pirate King, once he reached a certain point, they got rid of the D and just slid it over to his actual first name. So they called him Gold D. Roger. And it looked like they were trying to do something similar to that with Luffy at the very beginning. My best guess is they would have stopped revealing his government and instead of having it say Monkey D. Luffy, it would have said something like Straw Hat Luffy, would have had his epithet there. Which, at this point in time, if people are officially calling him an emperor, if he has officially defeated other emperors, they are probably trying to make it so that the world at large don't start taking a closer eye on him for the bigger higher up people that are um, at the top of the world. But all of that aside, looking at just what they did with the numbers itself, it makes sense. They're trying to keep Luffy as low-key as possible, so splitting up and sharing his accomplishment with the other two people of somewhat equal stature, at least to the populace to him, makes sense. And giving them a, a combined bounty that is just over Kaido and Big Mom's combined bounty of, I think, 8.9, somewhere around there, makes it so that it looks like it really took all three of them to beat these two down giving Luffy the absolute lowest amount of credit he possibly could while also acknowledging no he is actually a threat and probably these two guys as well so the numbers that Oda gave him make sense even though I can understand why some people don't agree with them but irregardless in typical Oda fashion we have so much to look forward to for the next month and so much to talk to but it is what it is